met a homeless man on the street. He passed away in a warehouse fire that was deliberately lit. I was uh, raped. Abused by um, by two, two grossly inoffensive staff who were in the location for the family disabilities. The record is falsified. Evidence is removed. It was a betrayal. It was an injustice of social equality. It was an injustice of gender equality. It was just an injustice of everything. Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. Um, Leon, you're more responsible. Ready when you are, Janelle. Sorry. Hello, and welcome to the Injustice series. My name is Janelle De Silva, and we're talking today about stories of injustice. I'm joined by Jeff, Lynette, and Dave. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Thank it's a pleasure. Jeff, tell me what's brought you here today. Justice is a path best sought collectively, in tandem with our own values at Injustice. Jeff represents We Are Change Melbourne, an organisation dedicated to providing information and solutions for victims declaring injustice in the Melbourne area. Today, Jeff is focused on a particular victim of the healthcare industry who was allegedly arrested instead of assisted when attempting alternative treatment for his ailment. Well, I'm the chapter head of We Are Change Melbourne. I run a talk show where I am inundated with phone calls from people who have suffered corruption and injustices. We provide solutions on how to help these people. Fantastic, that's great. Okay, so can you share with me something um, or a story that's brought you here today? Well, I received a phone call from a patient that was in a New South Wales hospital. The patient was administering a natural medicine on hospital grounds. Nurses and doctors approached. They requested that he hand over the medicine. He was compliant. He agreed with all the requests that were given by the hospital. However, they still called law enforcement and he was faced with criminal charges. Can you tell me, Jeff, how you think justice could or should have been served in that scenario? Well, everybody has the right to choose what medicine is administered into their bodies. Now, if there's a patient that's suffering and they are noticing good results and good gains with a medication, whether it be natural or pharmaceutical, that's their option to use that medicine and doctors should applaud any positive results the, place, the patient is getting and factor that in. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how much We Are Change can affect change for patients and particularly this patient? that you're talking about? Well, we promote GoFundMe accounts. We connect patients with support networks that are gonna be beneficial for their recovery. People phone through on the show regularly. It gives them a chance to have their story broadcasted. They can even post to the Facebook group and get additional information that they might be in order for receiving. Mm. So do you think that there has been a benefit for this particular person who called in having dealt with, what you, with your organisation? Absolutely, because it informs other people that may be considering using natural medicines in hospital that they might end up on the same route, being forced into a criminal situation where there's charges put before the courts and they are being uh, put in a position where they're being treated like criminals, not victims. They're being treated like criminals and instead of being victims of the healthcare system that is using improper methods. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing with us your story today. Well, I believe that the We Are Change organisation would have a good union with the Injustice series, being able to share some of the series and the stories of corruption that we ex receive and experience here. Yeah, um, just being able to give people a forum or a, a safe landing place to speak is so important. Would you both agree? Yeah. Absolutely. And Dave? Yeah. Somewhere for people to go. A platform is very important yes. for people that are suffering injustices. Mm. And often being able to do that via either radio or over the online as well, is it? That's right. I've been on 3CR radio mm -hmm. uh, exposing some of the corruption that has been brought to the attention of We Are Change. I also host events in the city, such as the No Jab, No Pay rally as well as the Australia Unite for Children's Rights event that was recently held here at Flagstaff Gardens, uh, highlighting some of the corruption, such as the mandatory vaccination policies that have been implemented. Parents want to be able to make their own decisions and not have government legislation forced upon them. Mm. 
So Jeff, you seem very passionate. Can you just give me an insight as to what drives you? Well, when I hear stories of people suffering injustices, I find it absolutely revolting that they haven't been given the best possible treatment and the best attention. The corruption is rampant, it needs to be exposed. And if there's not gonna be other organizations that are gonna hold a weekly talk show, well, I will definitely facilitate that, help some of the patients that are in need, promote their GoFundMe accounts, give them information and support networks that are gonna be vital. Fantastic. Have you found any uh, blocks or barriers for all the work that you do do? Well, one of the biggest blocks is with the legal system. Uh, we have lawyers that are telling patients to plead guilty to possession of a natural medicine when they're not guilty. They're a patient, they are a victim. And it's a medical necessity. They had the only option that was to use a natural medicine, otherwise their health would be at risk. And to put somebody in a predicament where their health is gonna be at risk, uh, because there's a natural medicine available, but it, because of a legal technicality, they're not able to access it. Mm -hmm. I find that revolting and uh, very absurd. So that's definitely something that we're working here to expose. And um, I hope this isn't an ongoing problem for patients that are suffering. Mm. The, the legal technicality about the natural medicine, I find, is, is quite you know, a contentious issue. And um, you said that the patient was from New South Wales? Correct. So were the laws different in New South Wales to administer, self-administer that natural medicine? Well, it wasn't a prescribed medicine right. from a doctor or medical health professional. Sure. It was a medicine that they acquired on their own means and were having great results with. A lot of their pain was alleviated. Mm -hmm. I mean, a nurse and a doctor should uh, receive that and write that down on a report and uh, note that down for further treatment. If they're uh, getting good results, that should be definitely taken into account. Mm -hmm. And uh, they shouldn't have law enforcement uh, called to hospitals where they're gonna be put in further uh, trouble legal and medical. This is gonna exacerbate their health in, a, in an extreme form. And it's a duty of care, the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. And when you're calling law enforcement to attend hospitals, that's gonna put them in an immense amount of harm. Mm. I can imagine that also that there is um, a psychological and emotional impact for that patient as well, having had that, those repercussions happen while they were still under the care of the hospital. Absolutely, and uh, it made the patient become very angry. And when uh, they reached the anger levels uh, that were too extreme, their gall gallbladder swelled up, and then they were administered back to hospital the next day. Just because of the complications, uh, because of this legal issue, you know, and it, it actually, now they're required to undergo more medical treatment that would have been unnecessary if the police weren't called. Mm -hmm. Well, Jeff, thank you. I mean, we could talk about so many things, it feels. Um, yes, that's just one individual case. Um, we have a number of cases that have been presented to We Are Change, and hopefully uh, the Injustice series, the program here, will be able to network and expose some of the corruption and provide a solution for patients and people. Thank you so much, Jeff. I really appreciate you coming on.